Hello, this is Jeffrey Taperteller. Thank you for joining us on our YouTube channel, Service Management Leadership. On this channel, we discuss topics, various topics of service management, service management leadership, and general leadership topics. And so, this video has to do with service management, specifically Remedy and the new version 9.0. Some people, it's 9.1, 9.x. But how to create a change request. And so, please look around at some of our other videos, subscribe to this channel, like or share the video. Here, let's look at how to create a change request. Well, let's look at how to create a change request in the new Remedy 9.0. This is the dashboard or the overview console as it looks with the, the new Remedy. And if you notice, this is dummy data, it's fake data, it's from their demo. That's how you know with the Calibro services, it's just one of their, the things that we've come to know and expect from Remedy. But let's look at this. Let's look at creating a new change request. Go to create and we come down with change request. And so we look at template and this, this trick right here works for all remedy. If you use a percent sign, it's a wild card. It searches for everything for a template. And so if I hit enter, Let's just pick that. So the, the percent sign works as a, as a wild card and it picks up everything. And if you wanted to search operator, which is the first one, you could put operator percent sign or percent initiated percent, any of those, a wild card before or after, and it helps. So let's, here is a no impact change. Let's hit continue. Now let's look at urgency and impact. We don't need it very quickly. We'll make that a four and we'll leave this other dummy stuff alone. And so if we wanted to update the assignment, which we can in this, we could assign to ourselves, we could update any of this, but we don't need to, right? So let's go to next step to have a CIs. And once again, we can do a percent sign. And if we do percent blade percent, put E in there, it helps to spell blade correctly, doesn't it? And hit search. It's thinking, it's thinking. It gives us 457. Notice right below here where it says view CIs. We come through and let's just pick the top one. And, and do you see where it says relate? We want to relate that. We'll call it a repair. And let's go next step and put in dates. I'm just going to make up dates sometime in the future. We'll start on the 30th. Uh, 31st and we'll go to June the 1st. This shows us our impact and urgency on the change calendar. That the nice things is if you see how when you put in dates, it automatically gives you the calendar. The one thing is, oh, and you see the collisions. This is great to be able to see. So just like with previous changes, uh, previous versions of Remedy, we can hover over them and see. But it also allows us to see the calendar when we put in our dates. The one caution I want to point out with this remedy is I put in change requests. It takes longer. It takes where the older versions of remedy, somebody could put in a change request in maybe 60 to 90 seconds. This one's going to take three or four minutes by the time we put in all the dates, it, just because it logs you into more than one screen instead of having tabs on the same screen. But we can go to next step here and we can put a risk level. I'll just put risk level one, next step. And this add, allows us to add any kind of documentation. And then if I wanted to add documentation, it allows me to upload it, 
right here, just like I normally would. But let's go back. And so that would allow me to, it's the same as the work detail in the older versions of Remedy. That's exactly what this document is. It doesn't allow you to, you know, pick from the, I wanted to say it's like 40 or 50 times types of documents at the older version of Remedy, but these are more than enough. And so that's where you put that type of documentation. Also notice over here on the left, this is the same phases similar that you would have on the others. The basics is the front page of your of your CRQ and your older versions, CIs, which would be your relationships. Date tab would be the next one over. Risks and documents. Those are just the tabs on your older versions of Remedy. And this is how you do it. And then you hit the submit button and that's all you need to do is just hit submit and it pops it rolls over and it goes into your queue just like all before. This is Jeffrey T. Fertiller. Thank you for joining us. Please like or share the video. Subscribe to our channel. Leave feedback below. We'd love to hear from you. And we hope you have a great, great day. Bye.